What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Odin, his name is the Rapple, his opponent today in the red color playing as Odin as well. We have an Odin mirror. His name is Bird, also known as Yoshi. Now if you get it, Yoshi, Bird, no one gets it. Yoshi Birdo, that's the that's the idea. Nice and funny. We are seeing a very very cheeky play here from uh from Yoshi actually dragging in those Aurochs nice and close, and he can actually drag the Auroch right underneath his town center with this because the way in which the animal AI works is the starting spawn has got an amount of distance that the animal is willing to walk. And if you walk said animal close enough to your town center and then cast Great Hunt on it, and then you stop targeting it and target the other one that is spawned here, now that aura can move all the way into your town center and you don't have to create an ox cart there, giving uh, Yoshi, giving Bird here an incredibly strong early game start. Really smart play here from Yoshi. Rapple, on the other hand, he is doing a similar thing, uh, except he has actually had to build himself a up. second ox cart here uh, onto this one, as he is going to be attempting to uh, make his way to the next stage. So we do have a Mediterranean game, and the reason why I picked this game is because we very rarely get to see uh, Norse on Mediterranean against Norse. We don't see this Norse mirror uh, on Mediterranean. And whenever we see a Norse mirror, oftentimes it's either incredibly boring or incredibly quickly finished. Because the fight is just like, whoever wins the first fight wins, essentially. Very rarely do we ever... Do we, very rarely do we ever see a very exciting Norse war on land. I'm not going to lie. That's just maybe my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe sometimes we see a very exciting Norse war. Uh, but it depends on the players. But oftentimes, of late, I've been seeing like, you see like uh, your soup, Rapple, Yoshi, all these top Norse players playing Norse Wars and they go for incredibly aggressive early games and just clash and whoever wins, wins at the start of the game. Uh, <laughs> so Mediterranean on the other hand, that's not going to happen here. There might be... Be very, very quiet. Just kidding. Rapple 100% sees it. Rapple 100% sees it. So this is not a surprise at all. Yoshi is like, I don't... Well, Yoshi doesn't know. He has no idea that he's been spotted here. This is incredibly close to Rapple's base. Rapple going to throw up his temple right next to it. Is Yoshi going for a very fast event? He definitely is going for a fast advance time. He's got himself how many fishing ships? He's got himself six fishing ships, seven fishing ships, going up to eight fishing ships. Probably nine fishing ships is generally the standard for Mediterranean. You can kind of go a, uh, up to 11 fishing ships if you have some good perch, but generally you get your nine mahi mahi and you're all good. Uh, and we will be seeing... A very fast advance time here from Yoshi. Is he going Heimdall? No, he's going for Freya. A bit surprised to see that considering how forward this is. And I mean, this is a, this is going to be a difficult one here for, for Yoshi. I'm not going to lie. He's throwing down houses on the front. He is going to have to fight here immediately on, the, on this location. Uh, and he's only got one dock. So will he throw a dock down onto this location here is the question. As we see Rapple going to throw his own dock down up here. We see the uh, Skraling moving in, looking for something to attack. I would love to see the Skraling start to attack the enemy Skraling here from Bird, uh, from Yoshi, from Rapple, whatever. If he can find that and prevent this dock from going up, that would be absolutely huge. But he's deciding to move up to the top side of the map. We see the Herser coming through to start targeting down. Lots of wood and gold in the bank here. As this Ulfsark does move around this location, we will see probably an immediate forest fire here from Bird. He might even come in and try and ghost build this. There we go with the forest fire. Not going to do all too much damage. The villagers just simply have to move. And they do have a very close wood line over here. Rapple just about to advance. And a big problem for... Uh, for Yoshi, when you do these kind of builds, is the 
Valkyrie just gets sent straight to your opponent's side of the bat map. Uh, we see a Longhouse going down for Rapple. Is he getting any early uh, Archer ships? No, he's not. We do see a couple of Archer ships coming out now for Yoshi as well, as he's going to be able to push off the uh, off the water just a little bit here. More Hursa coming out. Will we see some throwing Axemen? Who knows? The uh, Ulf Sark still causing a lot of issues around the back here as Yoshi is looking for as much early game advantage as he possibly can. We still haven't seen a forest fire used by Rapple just yet as the Hursa have come through. These are so many Hursa here for Yoshi compared to Rapple. Uh, and Rapple's just trying to get his houses up here as this, uh, this Valkyrie is running around causing some issues. This Hursa just about to fall, it seems. Long Longboat's now coming out for Rapple, but he's only got the one here as the rest of these long Longboat's doing some good damage. We see the Valkyrie coming in now onto Yoshi's base as these villagers are making a run for it here. This is going to be very tough for Rapple to defend. He might want to just turn around and actually fight this with his villagers, garrisoning as they get low. As in this location, it's seemingly looking like the army of Rapple has managed to defend this early game attack here from Yoshi. Big problem for Yoshi is going to be infantry units. He needs to have them to build houses. And he's still pushing through. He's still getting good damage done. But uh, looking like uh, Rapple's control maybe a little bit stronger here than Yoshi. Not able to actually control his entire longboats while controlling his army at the same time. Obviously very tough and he's going to be losing a little bit here. And I do wonder if maybe the better play would have been Heimdall, undermine the dock, and then take it down early game. Could have been incredibly strong here, but uh, and not been like trapped in the middle of villagers and army, uh, but not what uh, Yoshi decided to do here. So we do see some nice micro from Rappel. We'll end up losing one of his longboats nonetheless. These units coming through here. We've got ourselves four Hursa, one throwing Axeman against two Hursa. Three Olsark, one throwing Axeman. And this kind of does go uh, a little bit the advantage of uh, of the of, of Rappel here, I would I would guess. But uh, with the help of a longboat, it's more than enough to push Rappel back as he decides to retreat there. Knowing what to do. And now we finally see the Hursa back home dealing with this Valkyrie. And the villagers moving up onto this top wood line over here. And we do finally see this dock. Getting up, going to be a little bit annoying, but it's not that big of a deal here. It's just a little bit of a strange early game here from these guys as the boat's moving back forward. We're seeing uh, a rally point kind of misclicked here in a way for Yoshi. You're going to be losing another longbow. You really cannot be throwing longboats away here in this game. So we do see Rapple defending very, very nicely. This longboat falling. Another longboat going to be falling as well here. As Yoshi's getting more units out, but so too is Rapple. It's a very, very interesting game here. This is not the kind of Mediterranean you were expecting. Not the kind of Mediterranean you were expecting at all as Yo. both players on the land and on the water at the same time. We are seeing Rapple getting some nice fishing ship raids in here while this game continues. Uh, and we will be seeing a Valkyrie potentially sniping a village here. He's making a run for a tower. He does get away there. Nice play there from Rapple to survive. As this Valkyrie can be running around doing everything it can uh, can do. These, uh, these longboats for Rapple still getting some very, very nice value here. Taking down a longboat as well. We see the fishing ship back into the dock. Gonna get one more longboat out. Probably be able to defend this underneath no. the dock here. Is actually, we I mean, kind of sit underneath this dock for just a little bit here. Snipe these longboats and get out. Uh, but not happening just yet. We do see this fight continuing over here. Too many throwing axe when it seems for Rapple there on the back line. Too many infantry units for uh, for Yoshi as he's trying to hold on to his forward base here. Uh, we did see that Hursa all the way back here once upon a time, but he must have been moved forward as now Yoshi is just going to be running around the map here, maybe going the long way away from uh, from this fight, seeing what he can do as he takes a slight fight here, but he needs to, needs to get out of here as he's going to retreat all the way back home. And Rappel has managed to Somewhat survive here as he's now going to start taking down these houses and we're going to see a bit of a housing crisis for Yoshi as he's now starting to build up on the top side of the map here with his houses. Just hates building houses at home. Why why build houses at home when you can build them in the middle of the map? It's not. So that's, that's the question. And we do see that uh, Yoshi going to get a little bit of value back onto Rappel as Rappel's house has been cleaned up there. Temple being taken down over here as well. As you can see these uh, longboats getting cleaned up. Uh, and 
Now we might see maybe more of a standard water fight here in a little bit, but I really love the the, the small. The, I actually think that the most interesting micro fights from a from a player's perspective is when it's like somewhere in the vicinity of three to five or three to six long boats. In that vicinity, the micro can be incredibly precise, and you can and you can really find a lot of advantages uh, in those fights if you can micro them really really well. Uh, but we're not really seeing that in this game. There's too much is currently going on. Starting to see some walls get thrown up around this gold line here as, uh, as Yoshi is realizing that gold is going to be an issue here as we see the army coming through for Rapple. But Rapple's already kind of got plenty of plenty of units here and there is not that many units for Rapple. He's not had the time at all to set this up. And these walls and this longhouse are going to get taken down. This gold line is going to be claimed. And this game will continue here, it seems. As Rapple still getting some good damage. And we've got a whole bunch of fishing ships out for, for Rapple as well. And the ox cart going to get taken down over here. This is very, very annoying. As these old Sark just... Streaming in onto this position. Nice micro here from Yoshi to retreat away here. Uh, he's got plenty of Ulfsark here to take a couple of villages down. This is going to be a very, very strong raid, in fact, as all of the army is on this position here. We see the army of uh, Yoshi just attacking where Rapple is not. Really, really smart play. I love this wall from uh, from Yoshi as well, as he's going to throw this down, going to create a gate and be able to escape in and away from this army that uh, Rapples kind of mustered here. This is an incredibly smart wall from Yoshi to, to continue his attacks onto this position and onto this position as we see the Olsar coming around over here as now Yoshi can attack here and attack here and defend here. He's picked off all the longboats here of Rapple as well. So now the fishing ships are going to start feeling some pain. We do see a cheeky raiding cavalry group here from Rapple. He should leave this fort and continue looking for gold villages of Bird as well because he's got nothing back there. There's nothing over here. You can see some pigs only really here to defend and they aren't very good at defending if you ask me as the old suck do come back onto this wood line continually harassing uh, Rapple's wood income here as Rapple trying to retreat back trying to figure out a position in which his villages can be safe. He has managed to find these Ulfsark here. Is the Ulfsark Hursa going to retreat back through this wall potentially go after these dwarves as well and now we've got these buildings completely thrown up on the top side of the map here is as Yoshi is just saying, you know what? Screw the matter. I've I've got I've got ideas afloat, and he's gonna actually um, kind of sacrifice all of his units here as he's not paying attention, losing all of his Hursa and his Ulfsark as well, falling just a little bit as they try and retreat back out this bottom side. Now we're starting to see some raiding cavalry coming through as the throwing axemen numbers start rising. The raiding cavalry start becoming more and more useful here. Uh, and that's why the the transition away from Ulfsark normally happens. But Bird has got like no throwing axemen at all in his army, so we'll see how that's going to go. As the longboats are still sitting back here, going to continue to put pressure onto Rapple's uh, fishing economy here, and the army of Bird swinging around now, going to look to fight yet again. Rapple at 115 population. 115 population. Yoshi at 115 population. Get himself a second town center. So too is Rapple getting himself this second town center. I would love to see these Ulfsark here in this moment attempt to, I mean, I can't really wall this off with this town center being here, but at least wall off over here and over here to make sure that no raids can come through and you force the fights over to the top side of the map. You get control of four town centers in a way. So we do see the Ulfsark cursor moving straight past this town center, but Rapple spots it, pulls off, going to be trying to defend. We see the ox car can actually get taken down here incredibly quickly. It can be very, very annoying playing, uh, playing Norse, to be honest, as the uh, as the ox carts, they get taken down very quickly here. 180 HP is a lot, but maybe it needs just a little bit more. Because <laughs> it's super annoying. That's the only reason. But the Valkyrie here, the Valkyrie mass has been created here by Yoshi. He's going to be taking this fight. And the Hursa are the problem. So he's got to take those Hursa down. If he can kill off all the Hursa, the Valkyrie will probably be able to win the rest of this fight here. Town Center is just about to get up, but it's looking like Yoshi is not able to uh, actually hold this fight for long enough. The Throwing Axeman coming in here. Rapple not paying attention. The Town Center, 2,500. He could have denied the Town Center. He's making his way over here. 2,700, 2,800. The 
throwing axeman do manage to get just onto there just in time the throwing axeman get pulled off at the town center the the uh the valkyries for rapple now coming back in rapples at two town centers yoshi is at one town center uh, the throwing axeman here targeting the wrong units though so two of both players throwing axeman do have to get the, that micro happening a lot in these fights and now yoshi is gonna have to retreat back he did not manage to get his town center up or maybe he doesn't have to retreat back i don't know but he did not manage to get his town center back up gonna continue the fight here yoshi at 104 population rapple is at 116 population though the reinforcements that are coming do have to wander a very very far distance to fight this so Yo uh, yoshi does have that defender's advantage here as the longboats coming over here going to be taking down rapples longboats there's just so much going on here these players are playing absolutely insane in this game in terms of the pressure they're uh, uh, able to amount here as Rapple coming back in, he's going to continue to put pressure on, but he just does not have the Valkyrie mass here. Those throwing Axemen are going to be able to easily clean those Hursa up, and then the Valkyrie of Bird, of Yoshi, is going to be able to completely annihilate the rest of this army here. Uh, and that's at least what it seems like to me, as there's one Hursa remaining. Uh, just needs to kind of micro that that Hursa close enough to his throwing Axeman and then he can at least use his Valkyries but it's seeming look, looking like Rapple's micro here uh, being very very good and now the Valkyries in gonna start getting that damage done there is no real answer to, to uh, Rapple's Valkyrie though he's just getting more and more to come in onto this position as Yoshi not paying attention could be getting his longboats in here to get some real damage time we are seeing this longboat here uh, picked up picked up a bunch of fishing ship now can take down that dock there as well as we see the Valkyrie getting taken out of Rapple's got so much wood in the bank Yoshi on the other hand lots of resources in the bank as well lots of villages on gold it seems he's gonna have to start thinking about getting some farms out he's going for the full dwarf economy classic uh, classic Norse gameplay if you ask me just, just make nothing but dwarves why not Nothing but dwarves. <laughs> Hence why maybe we should have gone Heimdall here. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, one throwing axeman here. Getting sniped out. Now we can probably see that town center getting thrown back up for Yoshi. As he does almost manage to pick off that shield maiden Valkyrie. We'll actually be able to get healed back up if he so chooses. We start to see those walls getting thrown down here by Yoshi as well. Just a path block a little bit. Uh, and will this town center get up? Not quite get up here. And the Townsend are going to take a whole bunch more damage here as well. As is Rapple up past 115 pop? Yes, he is. He's at 119 of 130 pop. Still comes down to micro here. Even if you're above the 115 pop, still comes down to micro. Rapple is trying to force the issue here. He does have medium throwing action, so he does have a slight advantage in this fight in terms of tech uh, and obviously in population as well. And Bird has to retreat back. He still has defense advantage, so when a unit gets killed, it normally will just pop straight back out. So it's not really 115 versus 130 pop. It's kind of more like 120 or 122 versus 130 pop, just with these long passes all queued up producing units. Effectively, if they are all at 99%, then he's got more pop than you would expect. Uh, but the, the fighting here is all micro right now. The Valkyrie distracting these throwing axemen here beautifully as as more fighting is continuing. We are seeing some fishing ships getting created here. The longboats moving back in, trying to take down Rapple's fishing ships. He's got a couple of idle fishing ships there as the Valkyries here fighting each other is looking like Rapple getting the most uh, out of this one here. But Yoshi's still sitting very comfortably, or I was going to say comfortably at high pop, but 105 of 115 population. Rapple, on the other hand, still 115 of 115 or 130 population so he's still got an advantage here uh, and it's just not that much remaining as we see this town center now coming up for yoshi is getting this one back up with only one of sark and it might be seemingly looking like yoshi needs to retreat here uh, one option could be for him is to produce into his uh, which he is doing produce into his longhouses as best as he can get back up to full population but he's still got that issue of not quite having enough population here uh, available to him to really fight his opponent uh, and now we're starting to see that those board houses getting taken down as well it can be very very difficult to continue with only one infantry unit really available here he might have to convert a villager into an ulfsar and build those houses in his base or something like that we see the dwarves now moving over onto this large gold mine uh, imagine if this was kind of long housed up just a little bit or if there was a 
Longhouse over here could start those raids immediately, but not really happening here in this game just yet. More houses getting taken down. Those houses are so weak at 360 HP. Uh, it just makes no sense to not... This makes no sense to build them on the front here if you can help it. Uh, I say it once, I said it a million times, Norse players need to start having one unit back at home. It's two population, it's not going to make that much of a difference and you're just never going to have this issue of houses at the front of your... Uh, of the front of the battlefield where you lose a fight and everything goes bad. Now we've got seven longhouses here uh, that are going to get taken down as well. Do I have Yoshi on the retreat path there with those long boats to prevent the uh, units from getting chased down? So no problem where that's concerned. But now we're starting to see the Valkyrie Reds coming forward. He's going to try and take down this dwarf here. Yoshi not paying attention. We see one dwarf kill. This Valkyrie could potentially take down every single one of these units here. Rappel now. He's still got he's got, he's got his farms up, but they no plow, no husbandry. Very un rappel like He's getting himself a third town center. All of the chaos that happens in these games often lends you into positions which you're not comfortable with. And you start forgetting some of those simple things. And he's got the resources for it now. I'm sure he's going to check that to, to get something a little bit later and be like wow i didn't have those upgrades uh but no problems really and rapple might want to actually consider stopping production here instead favoring getting up an extra 10 villages to get to his 145 145 population as an idea oftentimes we see these units just kind of overproduce and you can't you kind of lose just a little bit of that um that advantage and now we see this uh this dwarf here getting taken down as well and now we finally see yoshi reacting to this one but there's still going to be a couple more dwarves getting picked off it just does so much damage 18 damage per second and, and rapple does notice that will pull back and then create even more damage to yoshi's economy here as he's throwing up the walls this is a lot of walls getting thrown up on this side of the map might be, be time to build a transport ship just jump past those walls, don't bother with it. But I reckon, honestly, here, Rappel's best bet is simply just... Well, not even Rappel's best bet. The best bet here for a Norse in this situation, being three town centers, having more villages than your opponent, most probably because you've been on two town centers for longer, is Ragnarok. He's got enough resources to go there straight away, uh, and he can definitely manage to do that. But so too could potentially Yoshi get there a little bit later, click it later, and maybe it's not going to be the best idea. It's, it's a weird matchup, this Norse mirror. We see this wall here getting taken down. Um, there's more walls coming up. I mean, there, there is no real room at this point to get a transport ship out, but transport ships are so underrated in this game. So you see Yoshi now ready to get up to the next age. He's got his armor. He's going through Skadi. Rappel, on the other hand, still not quite enough resources to advance. He has halted all of his production here. And he is... Well, he's actually halted all of his villager production as well. As his gold villagers over here. He's got 2,500 gold left. The wall's coming up over on this side. More longhouses coming down for Yoshi. And it's actually... You know, you might look at this and be like, wow, Yoshi lost so much stuff in this game. But in actuality, he's not that far behind in terms of economy. I would have thought that his villager production would have been much, much lower. But he's got the fishing economy. So he's actually completely fine here compared to what Rapple's got. So the advantage might seem like it's in Rapple's court, but because of the score being like a little bit advantage of Rapple, but that's just in buildings killed, resources lost. In terms of actual resources gained, I reckon if we check the post game right now, we might actually see all resources total very, very similar here. And in fact, Bird is in front by quite a bit. So all of those buildings lost just kind of makes it relatively equal. And... Therefore, game continuous as if nothing's happened. You're not in an advantageous position. You have to play it as if you're equal here, even though the score says slight advantage for Rappel. Uh, incredibly interesting game here thus far, as now Yoshi moving up to the top side of the map. We see some Ulsar getting produced here as well. The raiding cavalry moving in, going to be able to defend this one fairly easily. We see another longhouse coming down. Do we have a market up in this corner? Not just yeah. yet, eating up those deer as well, getting all of those advantages where that is concerned. The villagers are going to be retreating away from here as we see the frost coming down. The classic Yoshi uh, sorry, excuse me. A, this is a classic Yoshi maneuver. This is 100% how Yoshi wants to use his frost. He wants to use frost on villages 
and on army cause problems everywhere. But this is Rappel doing it to Yoshi. So Yoshi getting a little bit of his own medicine here. As now Yoshi has to decide, well, where do I want to use my own frost? Do I use it over here? As he does actually have to use it over here. So uh, at advantage, I would say, Rappel here just a little bit because of the frost on this gold mine and with all those dwarves being idle here on, over here as well. However, the army that Rappel's amassed here is not going to be able to escape. So it's all going to die uh, and maybe he gets a couple of kills at the end of it, but that's about it. So we'll see how that's going to go as we do see the side build coming down by Yoshi. I love this here. I love Norse players getting in, getting their side builds. This is how Norse was designed. This is why Norse was considered potentially going to be too strong on release because you can get these side builds up pretty much for free. Not only that, the old Sark's very, very fast if you get Lone Wanderer as well, but 4.8 speed still quick as well. And he's going to be continuing to put this pressure onto this gold mine. We don't have any way to block this gold mine though for Yoshi, so he's not going to get a gold star, but there is a very long amount of distance that these villagers have to make uh, up to the top side of the map. As we are seeing, Balder is now incoming for Rappel. The army here getting cleaned up as well. Has got those raiding cavalry to take down the throwing axemen, the heavy old Sark in as well to take down those raiding cavalry. The game continues here. A whole bunch of idle villagers for Yoshi as well as he's not quite able to get to the next stage. We do see a whole bunch of Drakkar coming in as well for Rappel. Very smart to make these. These are the hammer ships and they're not necessarily the best against longboats, uh, but funnily enough, they actually do beat longboats in a weird way. If you have enough of them, you can, you can just kind of run in. They've got 7.0 speed. They are the best raiding ship in the game, it would I would say. And we're also seeing a dragon ship as well to take down the enemy docks. Now, the, the water isn't that important here in this game at this point in the game because uh, you, well, there's just, it's just uh, there's no town centers in range of, of uh, siege ship fire. Uh, but we'll see how it's all going to go. Is now, Rappel's going to hold on. You kind of have to hold on to Balder in a way, but I actually feel like maybe build, make a couple of uh, trade caravans here for, for Rappel and then just click it. You just have to click it because your opponent here is going to be going to the Mythic Age himself no matter what here. As, as the old suck now coming through, will we see? There's the Ragnarok. So we've got a, we've got a uh, 334 population Ragnarok with no trade route set up. And Balder now coming through for, uh, for Bird. And he's actually losing a whole bunch of these units over here, running past this wall over here. And now the Rag here is going to move forward over this way as well. Start seeing those walls getting thrown up for Yoshi. He's just going to keep throwing them down. He's losing a lot here. He needs to go around the top side of the map, it would seem. So Rag Hero is coming through here as well. And I think Rappel is getting a little bit flustered here as his army is not going the right way. He's got this, this one wall. It's just one wall over this side. And Rappel is deciding all in the top side of the map. And Yoshi is just going, look, I'm just going to have to hold, 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 hold. I've got myself... 45 seconds here of holding to do without losing any villagers. Even if Yoshi loses a town center here, that's not the end of the world here because he's going to be able to get a ridiculously big Ragnarok to push back in and defend. So as we see, Rappel yet again, uh, trying to push through the top side of the map with his heroes of Ragnarok. He has to pay attention here and now he gets through. He sees the gate. He's going to take the gate down and wander through. He's going to be very frustrated here, I would say, because all those rag heroes that were down here could have been taking down this town center, killing off this gold mine here, doing tons of damage to the economy of Yoshi, de uh, denying a big Ragnarok as well. So we do see the heroes of Ragnarok spotting this one over here. Now we see the town center is indeed getting taken down. As the throwing axemen are uh, getting picked off here as well. And there's the uh, Mythic Age for Yoshi Ragnarok coming through. 323 population. Drapple's 310 population. So it's a it's a unit differential of about three here, which matters not. This matters next to nothing here, especially because a lot of that population does seem to be on water as well. So in terms of land units here, Rapple has the edge. The problem being though that Yoshi has got fishing economy. Rappel does not. So Yoshi's going to continue to get food back here. 
that's the problem. So we'll see if this is going to actually end up being a problem or not. But it's looking like Rappel getting a little bit, a little bit overzealous here with his army, not utilizing, uh, not, not getting his army all in the right position. He's losing a lot there. Now Yoshi's 317 pop, Rappel 301 pop. It's starting to become a very, very equal here on land as opposed to a slight advantage, I would say. And... Yoshi just hanging back here, wants to get all of his units here ready to defend, nice and slow. Uh, and we'll see how it's all going to go. Let's check out the armory upgrades here before the fight happens. We've got ourselves, this, this does not matter. We've got ourselves copper mail, copper weapons, heavy infantry and huntress axe here versus the exactly the same, but no huntress axe. So advantage, rapple, very slightly. Slight advantages in these big fights do end up mattering quite a bit here, as we do see Yoshi very smartly getting himself the watchtowers here to help him defend. But I think Rapple is going to have to say, look, I know I'm on a bit of a timer. I know you've got fishing economy here. I have to push now as he's going to move straight in and start taking this fight here as the huge army of Rapple is coming in and we see one of the bigger fights you'll ever see in an Age Mythology game. Nearly all the units here. We see a whole bunch more here as a Ragnarok moving in here for Yoshi. But a lot of these units just are not fighting. They're standing around here. It's incredibly hard to micro these fights to make sure that everything's going well. Rapple's at 200 population. Both players falling very quickly. Yoshi's at 250 population. Falling much, much slower, it would seem here. As Rapple's army is completely vanishing from the map, it would seem... And not only that, but now the population has dropped. The, uh, well, Yoshi's got no, no, no houses here, so he can't actually repopulate, but it's just end up being that Rappel taps out. He's not able to end the game here at all. He did not have his trade route set up like I needed him to have. It's so important. If you click Ragnarok, make sure you have five to 10 ox caravans or fish or both. And you're going to be able to not be in those positions where you can't afford to take this town center, for example. Had Rabble had this town center, maybe he doesn't have to push in so fast once the Ragnarok's clicked from Yoshi. Just move around, maybe try and take down the docks of, uh, of Yoshi instead. I mean, there's so many docks kind of all over the map, so that's probably not an option. But you're not as as sad or as worried about your opponent's economies continuing to grow while you're not able to get any. Uh, and this could have been a very weird spicy late game rag but instead it was just bang i lost gg but what a game my god this like crazy yoshi early game forward temple here doing all the damage incredibly strong takes down so much of your uh of rapple's early game rapple defends beautifully at the end of it rapple's got two town centers yoshi's got the fish not able to get this town center up in the end there but Ends up being very equal here. And then the defense from Yoshi, just beautiful. Incredibly well-played game here by these guys. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.